Hello everyone. So this video is going to be about a Horizon Line Remix. And I learned this uh, technique recently and I wanted to try it out with you guys. So you need some landscapes. This is my landscape folder. It's pretty big. I got some of my landscapes out. And the idea is that you can take the Horizon Line from one landscape and put it on another. That is a really cool image. So I'm just kind of going through my images. Um, this is also a really cool image. Just kind of figuring out which ones I might use, which ones I might not. That's very cool. Um, ooh, I like the desert too. But something with a horizon line. Okay. So you can see I've used these for other things, but that is a really cool picture. Um, oh, I like this horizon line. So this horizon line is, you don't see a lot of the background, so that might be a, a difference. So I'm looking for different things um, to kind of mix up the idea of the horizon line. So what you do is you basically match up the horizon lines. So I like to tear a lot. But that just does not look good on that one. So no. Um, smaller images actually are better for this. So um, or parts of images. So here is a nice horizon line. I'm just going to tear that and let's see where I can go with this one. So a dry desert, maybe putting it, matching it with the horizon line in the city. I need to get rid of these words. Um, we're matching it to a horizon line there. Nope. And so you can see I, the way I collage is I have a lot of options. Okay. This might be a possibility. I really like that. The reason I like that is because it has water and it has kind of dry land. I'm going to make it even skinnier. Match up the horizon line. That is really nice. So I'm going to commit to this right here as um, my first horizon line remix. So I'm just going to use a glue stick and I'm not going to fully glue it down yet. I'm just going to tack it. So, and actually, I'm going to tear this edge a little bit better so that I don't have the white part. Okay, and if you're new to collage or new to artwork, a lot of new, um, inexperienced people put something right in the middle. Okay. And I'm experimenting with putting things off to the side. I like it over here better. This one's actually really hard because the horizon line has then a line of clouds. So play with it. Sometimes it's really good if you take a picture. Uh, with your cell phone and see if you like the placement, but that's pretty good for me. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just going to tack it. So just a little bit of glue, tack it down. Okay. I can still tuck things around it. And so that is a great first Horizon Line remix. I'm going to do another one here. See how fast that was? Okay. This is beautiful. Okay, and sometimes I'll just take like a ruler and cut that off or um, 
something like that. I love this. I want to go here. So I'm working with these two images now and I'm going to go back to my different images and see. This one might be interesting. I'm actually looking in the camera and then I could draw that back in possibly. I wanted to also see this tree image. No, but I really like this tree image. I'll have to save it for something else. Okay, this mirrors that. So, because I have a lot of magazines, I don't worry if I rip something up, like there'll always be another one. Sometimes I cover things up. That map mirrors that, doesn't it? Aha. I might have torn off some of the... It doesn't really have a horizon line anymore. But I do like it there and I never would have probably come to that liking if I didn't have this task of matching up horizon lines. So that's another thing is like even if it, you're not in, end up doing what the task is, if you come out with something good, then you come out with something good. And I could see sometimes I paint so I could paint in things. So I'm just going to tack it down, call it good and move on. So that is kind of how I collage, is I work with multiple um, examples to, um, I really like this. So this one I might actually cut out. So if I could match the slope here. So I'm matching the slope, that line, the shoreline. I could see that working out really well. Just tack it down. Okay. I really do like this image too. It's a really weird um, angle. The horizon line is way up here. Kind of like this one, how the horizon line is way up here. Up there. So one thing about collage when you're done with it, if you don't think you're going to use it, recycle it. Okay. Because the worst thing is having so much on your desk. And I have this little tiny guy. I'm going to cut it out and experiment with that little tiny. So the small images can be really helpful. Um, a lot of times people think there's not a lot they can do with them, but th it's totally fine to use the small, small and big. Are good opposites, contrasting pairs. Okay, so recycle. I'm 
Mm. Again, this one's hard. It's a hard skyline, but I could cut a slit right there and, and put that in. That might be interesting. It's a maybe. Okay. So again, trying to match up the hills in the back. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. this might work. So this is matching the size of this hill with the size of this hill. Really close. Not perfect. I'm going to go with it. Okay. So for my Horizon Line remix, I did this one. I did this one. Pretty happy about that one. This one wasn't really the horizon line, but I, I followed this line here. Um, let's see. Did I have one more? I did have this one here, but I wouldn't really, that was not a, that was not actual <laughs> horizon line. So these are my three horizon line um, mix-ups. These are the first basic background for the collage, and I think it really works and makes you, um, have a collage that's pretty unexpected. So thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.